Good morning. It is a actually a really beautiful first day of spring. So I'm looking forward to today. Um, but I wasn't looking forward to today at about six in the morning. Here's what happened. Got a message at 6.30 in the morning from the airline saying, your flight details have changed. You might want to check that out. All right, I said, logged on. Check the flight details. Nothing. All right. What, what are they getting at, I thought. So I rang them at 6 in the morning. Uh, well, 7 in the morning at that time. Um, got through to a... Um, got through to a customer service rep who was very nice and everything and she's like oh could I just verify your flight details so I said all right I'm flying on yay flight and she immediately comes back with says yeah that flight's been cancelled it's no longer operational and I'm like what great great I've been planning for months to go and the flight is not operational so what can we do the rep then comes back and says, all right, it looks like we can reschedule you in another flight. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm hoping this isn't going to be tomorrow or the day after because a lot of this stuff is time critical now. All right, she said, I'll, um, I'll let you know what flights are available. And then come the most harrowing five minutes of my life as I try and work out how the schedule is going to be flexible enough to compensate for anything that changes. She comes back and says, turns out um, we can book you on a flight that's an overnight flight that stops by Hanada Airport. Um, it leaves later and arrives earlier because it skipped Singapore. I'm like, dandy. And then I remembered, this is the flight I tried to book several months ago that I couldn't because it had already been booked. And so, I was like, all right, cool. Maybe they're overbooking. I don't know. It's not a budget flyer. It's a, um, it's a fly carrier as well. Knowing Ariel, you probably know which airline I'm referring to. But that's the, um, yeah, the funny part about it is exactly that. I am now going to be heading onto a flight that leaves later and arrives at 5 in the morning at Tokyo Haneda. And that's not too bad. Oh god, it's quite. That's not altogether too bad because we will be arriving just as the sun rises. The sun rises at 5.13 tomorrow morning over Tokyo. We will be arriving two minutes after it breaches the horizon at 5.15. That's the expected arrival time anyway. And all is said and done, we might be already on the ground as the sun rises, but it's insane. I've never really done a five o'clock arrival time, but there you go. Looking forward to it. Apparently it's gonna be nice and temperate, but incredibly humid. I'm actually really looking forward to that too. I'm just I'm just really looking forward to this. So, what's next for Vlogtown? Well, essentially this. From today and moving on every day, I am vlogging every day that I am away in Japan. Whether it be in the city or be somewhere else. Um, yeah. Experimenting with equipment, trying new stuff, messing around with things. Maybe we'll gather some stuff I really like, so look forward to it, I guess. And with that, time to get some itineraries printed, and then I have to catch a plane. See you guys later.